China unveils gene technology to create superhumans with hypermuscular test tube dogs. Armies of super soldiers were a step closer to reality today after China announced it was genetically engineering hypermuscular super dogs. The dogs, which are test tube bred in a lab, have twice the muscle mass of their natural counterparts and are considerably stronger and faster. The canine genome has been especially difficult to engineer and replicate, but its close similarity to the human genome means it has long been the prize of geneticists. Now the Chinese success has led to fears the same technology could be used to create weaponized superhumans, typified in Marvel Comics by Captain America and his foes. David King, director of Human Genetics Alert, HGA voiced his fears over what is widely viewed as the first step on a slippery slope. He told Express.co.uk, it's true that the more and more animals that are genetically engineered using these techniques brings us closer to the possibility of genetic engineering of humans. Dogs as a species, in respect of cloning are very difficult, and even more difficult to clone human beings. There's no medical case for it. The scientists are interested in being the first person in the world to create a genetically engineered child. They're interested in science and the technology and their careers. They will continue pushing the regulations for it. That does set us on the road to eugenics. I am very concerned with what I'm seeing. An army of superhumans has been a staple of science fiction and superhero comics for decades but the super dog technology brings it closer to reality. The Chinese researcher's first self-bred cloned dog was named Little Long Long. The beagle puppy, one of 27, was genetically engineered by deleting a gene called myostatin, giving it double the muscle mass of a normal beagle. The advanced genetic editing technology has been touted as a breakthrough which could herald the dawn of superb breeds, which could be stronger, faster, better at running and hunting. The Chinese official line is that the dogs could potentially be deployed to frontline service to assist police officers. Dr. Lei Liang Xu, researcher at Guangzhou Institute of Biological Medicine and Health, said, This is a breakthrough, marking China as only the second country in the world to independently master dog somatic clone technology, after South Korea. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.